Hello, welcome to the second part of our lesson basic terms. Let's continue discussing some other terms in graph theory. What is a path? So a path is an alternating sequence of vertices and edges. It can be seen as a trip from one vertex to another using edges of the graph. Let's say we have this graph. So, we're going to make a path from A to vertex C. Right? So, we can start with vertex A. We proceed to vertex B and we go to C. So, this is one path from A to C. You can have also another path. You start with A, you go to D, and then you now arrive at C. You can have this, A, D, and C. If you want to have a longer path, you start with A, you go to B, and then vertex E. Then you proceed to vertex B, and you arrive at C. You have your A, B, C, D, and then you may use this one, going to C. That is the path. Second term is what we call circuit or cycle. It's actually a closed path. What's the difference of this circuit with just a path? This circuit begins and ends with the same vertex. So the starting vertex and the ending vertex are the same in a circuit. Let's say a circuit that starts with A and ends with A. So we have A, you go to vertex B, you go to vertex C, and then B, and then you go back to A. So that's a circuit that starts with A and ends with A. So you have here. It's actually a closed path. To have another example, let's say we start with vertex B and ends with the same vertex. So you start with vertex B, you go to E, to B, to C, and you go back to B. That's another circuit that starts with B and ends with B. So you have here B, E, D, D C, and B, isn't it? That's a closed path. Next term, adjacent vertices. So when do we say that two vertices are adjacent? Or which of these, in this given graph, which of these are adjacent vertices? Are vertex A and B adjacent? Are vertex A and E adjacent? Are vertex C and D adjacent? How about C and A? So, the vertices or two vertices are adjacent if they are joined by an edge. So, if they are connected to each other, are A and B connected? Yes, so they are adjacent. Are vertex A and vertex D connected? So, it's no, they are not adjacent because there's no edge that joined them or connected them. How about C and D? As you can see, there are two edges that connect them or connect them. So therefore, it's, they are adjacent. How about C and A? As you can see, there is no line that directly connects A and vertex C. Therefore, they are not adjacent. Okay, B and D are not also adjacent 
because there's no line that directly connects B and C. E. So that's what we call the JSON vertices. How about the degree of a vertex? How to count or how to determine the de degree of a vertex? The degree of a vertex is the number of edges attached to it. So how many uh, vertices do we have here? We have five and let's determine their degrees. Okay, so we're going to count the number of edges connected to them. Let's say vertex A. How many lines or edges connected to A? You can see here, 2. So the degree okay, of vertex A is 2. How about vertex C? As you can see here, we have 1, 2, 3. And, and how about this loop? Loop is also uh, uh, in a loop. There will the degree is two. Okay, for a loop, uh, the degree is two. Therefore, this loop here, the degree is two, and then we have other three here. The degree of vertex B will be five. How about C? So for vertex C, there are three lines connected to it. So the degree is three. How about vertex D? So we have one, two, three, four. So there are four edges connected to it, therefore the degree of vertex D is 4. How about E? So there are two lines or two edges connected to it, so the de degree is 2. When do we say that a graph is complete? If every pair of vertices of a graph are adjacent, meaning each of the graphs are in each of the vertices or its vertex are connected to each other. The graph is called complete. Let's say this one. If this is vertex A, make sure that it's connected to all other vertices. As you can see here, it's connected to the other four. Even if we name this as vertex B, they are all connected with, uh, it's uh, connected to all other vertices. Even C, even B, and even E. It's called complete. So what's the degree of its vertex of a complete graph? Okay, so in this example, uh, we can actually denote this as K sub 5. Why? Because it has 5 vertices. And the degree of its vertex, we say vertex A, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Vertex B, 1, 2, 3, 4. Vertex C, the same, 4. And vertex D, the degree is 4. They are all the same. And when you compare it with the number of vertices, vertices, no, the degree, it's actually, the degree is denoted by n minus 1. That's for a complete graph. How about connected graph? So connected graph is actually a graph wherein there is a path between each pair of vertices. Okay? So you can go from one vertex to another vertex, to all other vertices. So they are connected. This one is a connected graph and the other one is this connected graph because there's no line or edge that connecting B with C or with the other this part of the graph. So they are this one is disconnected. So how about a bridge? A bridge is actually okay, an edge. Okay, it's a line that when you remove it, all the other parts will be disconnected to the graph. So removing a single edge from a connected graph can make it disconnected. Such an edge is called a bridge. Let's say, for example, this graph here. What are the edges that if you will remove, some other parts will be disconnected from the uh, bigger part of the graph. So you try it yourself. Okay. Uh, may I identify one 
uh, this one is a print because if you remove this this one if you remove this this part of the graph is disconnected from the other part this one is also a bridge because if you remove this one this is disconnected from the other parts is this also a bridge yes because if you remove it this will be disconnected okay so this is a bridge how about this is this a bridge no because there is another line that connects that vertex to the other part is this a bridge yes because this vertex will be disconnected if this will be not included in the graph is this a, a bridge no because there's a line here that connects the other part is this a bridge no okay because this line connects it to the other part how about this is this a bridge yes because when you remove it this part will be disconnected how about this is this a bridge no it's not this one is not a bridge not a bridge why because this there's a line here that connects it okay connect that part to the bigger part how about this is this a ball this is this a bridge no can you identify other bridge okay so you try it yourself okay so for your activity you may answer this one in your notebook or in your paper and we can actually check it later on in our synchronous session okay so this uh that's all for the part two of our lesson basic terms thank you Bye.